what is going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today guys we're going over five glitches that work in season nine and some of these are new so this might be the first time you see some of these so before we start this video guys make sure you guys need my supporter video code in the item shop LDHDYT next time you buy something because it does help out a lot and it's easy for you guys to do and completely free so really appreciate it if you guys could do that also if you guys could leave a like I usually don't ask for likes but it does actually help out the video so if you guys could like the video right now that'd be very appreciated it actually helps out a lot more than you think so other than that guys make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to the channel because we're uploading glitches all the time and you'll be the first to know about some new ones when they come out but anyway without wasting any more time let's get right into this video all right guys this next glitch works in playground and it doesn't matter if you're on fill or no fill it doesn't make a difference this glitch allows you to have the prop gun anywhere in playground and so you can just troll people hide or whatever and it's actually pretty cool so basically for this glitch you just need to go to one of the island rifts and you want to put in this code that will be in the description as well after the island has loaded in just go into the rift and basically what you want to do is you just want to start the game once the game has started you just want to respawn and you're going to look at this timer and at one you want to hit back to hub so you're going to have to calm down in your head for a little bit four three two one all right so now you just want to go back to hub and if you have the ability to start the game it has worked and i actually added some cool graphics to this as you can see there's like a pink background which i think looks super cool you can either go to the main island stay in the lobby or go into a rift to use the prop gun but you just need to select a place where you want to use the prop gun i think let's see what this is the most active rift so as you see this is zone wars so it doesn't make any sense for me to like have a prop gun in this but if you start the game you'll actually be able to have all the items that in my island i have the prop gun and a few weapons and also a shadow bomb which is super cool all right the game has started and you see i have like legendary weapons i can also fly and stuff and build as well say if this island were not let you we're not supposed to let you build you could actually build still so it looks like their game just ended so i couldn't do anything as you can see, it like it ends now, so I can't do anything. If the game hadn't have ended, we would have been able to actually cheat in it and do stuff like that. This next glitch allows you to improve your graphics or change them anywhere on the map. And this also works in Playground. As you see with that prop, gun, prop gun cheat, you could actually change the graphics, which I thought it was really cool that you could change like the background purple or pink, I guess. Same color, doesn't matter. As you see, the graphics look really cool in here. And um, you can actually extend this. So when you're in the main map or in an island, a different island, you can actually have this as well. So basically to, to do this glitch, you want to go to your island settings and you just want to mess with the light, the brightness, time of day, light color and fog thickness and fog color. Color. Now you can actually get some pretty cool results for this and if you are a youtuber this is actually really useful in the thumbnails of this video I actually got some pretty cool lighting effects for the thumbnail if you need to make good thumbnails You can actually change the lighting so it's a lot better and more cinematic So what I did for my thumbnail is I I turned the brightness to 100 and changed the light color to white I changed the fog color to black and then the fog thickness to 90% and basically have this kind of cool like mysterious like effect And it looks really cool in replay mode and um, this would only be available in your island so basically to get this anywhere you want to just go to the side of your island until you see the border like this and basically you just want to walk out until the memory used disappears and as you see and the lighting should change as well so basically once that happens you just want to respawn and once you have done this if you fly away from the border you'll actually have this forever and on main island and anywhere else you go so this is actually really sick um, and you can get some really cool lighting effects in play in replay mode so this is great for thumbnails and also just a kind of a cool glitch to experiment new lighting effects also a unique trick is if you turn black fog on 10 percent you can actually see a lot farther and everything's a lot more clear than normal so that's pretty cool how did I completely make a u-turn what the heck anyway if you go back into your island and you go back out as you see it goes back to normal so if you want this permanent you can just do that glitch where you respawn after the 15 seconds after the game ends so you can do that as well and you also need to turn on one spawn So this next glitch allows you to actually get vending machines and mini games into your creative island. And if you didn't know already, these mini games were part of Playground way back forever ago. Basically, it's just something you could spawn on the map, and they actually had vending machines on them, and they're like little mini games. And so, like, you can actually get these back now and put them in your creative island, which I think is really cool. And they're really buggy, and you could find probably other glitches with this as well. So basically, you just want to go to while you're in creative, you want to go to a different island slot, preferably this one because it's the closest one to your rift. And I also 
recommend being alone because if you're on the wrong island slot, it could be make this process a lot slower. Basically, you just want to enter the code that will be in the description below. Once it has loaded in, just go into the island and you want to fly down until you can start the game. So there we go. Now with this glitch, you can actually get more than just vending machines and minigames. There's actually vaulted items such as the gold bolts sniper and the blue pistol, which are, have been removed and those appear here. And so you can actually get those back, which is kind of weird. I see the blue pistols here. So you can do this with any item over here, but basically I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get the vending machine and stuff. So basically you want to get, uh, let's see, we want to get this, this, and this. So we're just going to get these four and um, these are the ones with the vending machines on them. So I, if you want vending machines, you want to select one of these over here and basically once you have the ones you want all you need to do is just respawn as soon as you respawn you want to start flying and you don't want to go above that because if you do it'll mess it up and basically you just want to fly to your island so the best way to find it is finding the creative hub so as you can see it's over there and if you're on the first island slot it should be really close to the creative hub so basically my island should be right about here and so basically you just want to fly over there i recommend using this way there's actually other ways but those are inconsistent and they actually can lead to it not working and not being able to get some of the items so i recommend doing this method because you can get for sure all the items that you have and you won't have to redo it once you are close enough to your island it will load in and you do not want to enter it because if you do it's going to remove all your items that you selected so instead you want to fly above the islands and it has to be high enough so that you don't enter the island and once you get above it basically all you have to do is just drop the items onto your island and make sure you do not enter the island because if you do it will remove all your items so when you're hovering above the island and you have to be pretty high for this you just want to drop all the items that you want once you have dropped them you can just go back into your island and there we go i just see the lighting change and now you just have to wait for all those items to fall down into your island okay there they are but we can just grab these out of midair if we can try all right so basically if you just throw one of these down so we're gonna throw down this one because it's pretty small as you can see we actually have the spiky stadium and these are actually un unreleased items so you can actually copy and paste these and these are uh unreleased there's not these are nowhere in a prefab so you can get bleachers which could be very useful uh there's also i don't think this brick's available but it might be, I'm not sure though. There's also these ramps I don't think exist. And uh, yeah, I recommend dropping these just in case because it could potentially remove them. There we go guys, as you see we're inside. And there's vending machines here, which is super cool. And um, as you see, this is actually really bugged because uh, you can get stuff that's not supposed to be blue. Like you can get a blue scar, um, but actually it doesn't come out blue which is weird the only thing that does come out the rarity it's not supposed to are is the blue pistol and the gold bolt sniper um, which isn't on any of these vending machines i don't think so, so yeah this is pretty cool and the these uses actually save on your island i'm not sure if they do anymore but basically uh if you want them to save i think you just had to reload creative or your island i'm not sure though i don't think i'm not sure if they save anymore but it's still pretty cool you can get these things these it will actually entirely load out now if you load out of your island but it's uh, still a very cool glitch and so you shouldn't be to get vending machines in, in, in your creative island which is pretty cool this next glitch allows you to get this insane looking device and i actually made a portal out of it if you guys you might have already seen this but i actually made a video on how to create a portal in fortnite and so if you guys want to see that i'll put a link in the description for you guys to watch but basically i'm going to show you how you can get this item and in that video i actually show you guys how you can make a portal out of it so um if you guys want to check that out make sure you guys go check it out but let me show you guys what i mean by a uh, portal so basically for this you want to enter the code that will be also in the description and before you enter this code you want to make sure you have an island loaded in that has a big radius so the, the canyon island works the block works and basically any island that is really big uh, around its radius so the volcano there's a lot a lot of the new islands are pretty big so uh, you can just use those but basically when you put in that code you just want to go to your island rift and it has to be in the first slot so make sure you're not with your friend or anything basically once you have loaded into your island I believe it should just show up here soon so for the canyon islands it's actually under the ground so if you just go down here it's actually down here so um you're gonna have to go under the ground for this one um but on other islands on most islands it's above ground yeah just turn on phase mode and come down here and basically you just want to um multi-select all the pieces in this 
and make sure you have all of them and if you want to see if you have all of them just right click and if there's nothing left then you're good just copy it or cut it it doesn't matter and you can put this on anywhere on your island and if you guys know what i mean this looks like a portal like this looks insane and i actually show you guys how to make a portal out of this so just go watch that video that will be in the description and it makes it look like you've actually entered a portal once you've gone through it which is super sick you can do a lot of builds with this be impressive to like i don't know this looks like an engine as well For this next glitch, it actually allows you to build on hub permanently. And so literally, you can customize it however you like. And if you are a little bit smarter than others, you can perfectly align it by making a frame of the creative hub on your island and then building on top of that. Just for the sake of time in this video, I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to do that. So I'm just gonna copy one of these buildings. So I'm just gonna copy this shed for no reason. But basically, you just wanna see which way uh, the creative hub is facing. So it is facing this way, so when you spawn in, you face this way and that's the way you want to copy it because uh that's the best way you can align it so we're just going to copy everything so you just want to use multi-select once you have selected everything you want to copy you just want to kind of think about where this is going to align so um you probably don't want it in front of you because if it's in front of you then it's going to be in front of the rift but you might want that so it depends on what you want so basically to do this glitch you want to copy this and select and switch your pickaxe uh, a split second after um, you don't want to do it at the same time because it won't work so you just have to do it like right after and there we go if it highlights like this um, or something similar it should work so basically we're what we're gonna do we're going to find the island the hub rift which is over here on this island so let's get over there and do you just want to walk into the rift and spam the left click button we'll see what happens from there there we go, we spammed it, and the cabin is here now. And actually, it turned out not too bad. I mean, it's floating, of course, but uh, it's still kind of cool. I'm not sure if this saved or not. I guess I didn't select this stuff. I messed up, but... Now, to see if it's saved or not, you just want to select a different rift. And if you select a different rift and it doesn't load out, it's not going to work. So, it's, this isn't actually going to save. But occasionally, you'll actually get this to be able to save. And if you place this and nothing, like, shows up, then that means it probably worked. And you just have to reload the island, and then it will actually save. It didn't work this time, but basically, if you just keep trying you'll actually be able to get this to work anyway that is it for today's video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed and let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes that would be really awesome and i think we can do it subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to the channel because we're uploading this stuff all the time and you don't want to miss it anyway thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one.